What's going on, gamers? Today, we are going to go over how to install and use the Security Craft Minecraft mod. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. Your home base in Minecraft becomes an extremely important part of the game, whether it's because all of your valuables are stored there, or just because you put a lot of time and effort into it. If you wanted to protect your home, the base game doesn't have much to offer. Thankfully, Security Craft allows you to add a variety of defensive and offensive items to your base to protect against all forms of intruders. Whether it's door locks, mines, or fake water, this mod has you covered. Visit the Security Craft CurseForge page and press Files at the top of the page to view all of the downloads, and then scroll down to find the version you want to use, and click Download to the right hand side. Save the file to a safe location to use in just a minute. Head to your Apex server panel, stop the server, and then make sure your server is running a matching version of Minecraft Forge to the mod that you downloaded. Afterwards, enter the FTP file access and log in, and then you can enter the mods folder and press upload in the top left. On the next page, drag and drop the mod file into the upload area, and once it's 100% uploaded, you can use your server name at the top of the page to return to the main panel where you can restart the server. Now, before you download on your client, make sure you have Forge installed. Once that's done, open your Minecraft launcher and visit the Installations tab, and then hover over your Forge profile and press the Open Folder icon. In the new window, find or create the mods folder, and then you can paste the security craft jar file here. After that, return to the Minecraft launcher and press play. Once the mod is loaded, you can jump in and start experimenting with the features of security craft. For a full list of items and features, you can also check out the official wiki page that will be linked down below. When defending against players, a simple door is not enough to keep players out. Thankfully, a keycard reader allows you to upgrade your entrances and only allows you to enter with the correct keycard. By opening the keycard reader GUI, you can place the desired keycard into the slot and customize it to your liking. Change the level access for the reader, add a unique signature ID, and choose to limit the number of uses. Once you're done, you can link the card and then use it within the applicable readers around your base. If carrying around a key card isn't your style, you can also use the keypad method. Available in two forms, the key panel can be placed on a wall, while the keypad is an entire block. Both forms allow you to set a desired pin code, which can be used to unlock the adjacent door. To take it a step further, the retinal scanner block will activate when you look at the block in close proximity, opening the door. This removes the need for carrying a card or remembering a pin altogether. The fake water and lava buckets allow you to place indistinguishable liquids with the opposite effect. The water is going to cause harm, while the lava will allow you to travel unharmed. The fake lava even burns items, so players can't test it without taking a huge risk. And why set all of these defenses if you can't monitor them from a safe location? Thankfully, the camera system allows you to set and view security cameras across your base. The cameras have night vision capability and they can be upgraded to toggle a redstone signal. Finally, the various mines allow you to rig various ores, blocks, and even rails to explode on contact. Place sand mines on a beach, lure players with diamond ore, or you can make explosive furnaces. This will cause considerable damage, so make sure to place them far away from anything that's truly valuable, and definitely keep them a far distance from your house. Not only is this a great way to protect your bases and your items, but it's also got a few tricks that you can use to mess with your friends or your enemies. Eventually, no one will even dare to make the trek to your base, and your items will be safe for good. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.